What is up guys? Welcome back to the ninth video here in this tutorial. Let's jump in. This one's going to be a quick and easy video. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be drawing our Jack character to the screen so we can actually see him. And then after that, we're going to add gravity because gravity is an essential part of any game, but especially a side scroller. So um, let's, yeah, let's get right in. Let's go over to our render.js file. And what we'll do is to get Mario to show up on the screen. I'll just come here and I'll do inside of our update function. So again, this gets called every single animation frame. What I'm gonna do is I'll just do draw, oh sorry, data dot, um, no, we wanna do, we wanna render him. So let's do render dot draw our helpers. We have it inside of our helpers function dot draw entity. And I want to pass in Mario, so he's under entities. Dot, or not Mario, Jack, excuse me again. And he is going to be drawn to the foreground canvas. Like that. So let's go ahead and just with one line of code like that, he should be showing up on our screen. So if we come here, open up, and let me refresh. Oh, might be in a bug here. Let's see. Oh, yep. Uncaught reference. Jack is not defined. And that is true because he doesn't have a capital J. Oh, wait, maybe he does. Let's see. This is where we're talking about typos. Oh, I know. I did wrong. So if we come up here, Jack, you can't do a new Jack. We have to do a new entities dot helpers dot jack okay now where were we over here okay let's refresh and voila there's our little lumberjack dude a little character just hanging out up there perfect okay so what we need to do is he starts up there but he needs to fall down and land in this area in this episode all we're gonna do is add the gravity so we're just gonna make it so he falls he's we don't have any collision detection or physics engine in place so he's just gonna go right through the earth and we won't see him again but we need to add somehow make him fall down so the way to do that is we need to go ahead and create a new JS file and we can call it physics physics dot JS and then go ahead and do what we've been doing. Physics equals an object literal. Okay. And now inside of physics, I need an update function. And this function is where we, it's gonna get called every single tick. And this is where I wanna call gravity. So I'll do physics dot, actually, Let's create a helpers here. Set it equal to an object. And inside of here, I can have gravity. Set that equal to a function. I'll pass in the entity that we want to apply the gravity to. And also let's pass in, well, yeah, that's all we need is the entity. So now what we can do is I can say the entity dot velocity y. So how fast it's moving up or down. And I wanna add 1.2 every single tick. So he's actually gonna increase the speed of falling just like how gravity works. And then entity dot y. I wanna actually make equal to entity dot velocity y like that okay so now we have that helper method in order to update it what i'll go ahead and do is i will just call physics dot helpers dot gravity and i will pass in our jack character. So let's do entities 
dot jack, just like that. Now we need to make sure that our index.html file loads in that script. So we'll go to source, do JS folder physics, save it, go over to our game.js file. And now this order matters. We need on update, we want it to do animation. And the last thing we want to do is physics. So let's call physics dot um, update. Now pass in data. Okay. And let's go ahead. Let me just make sure nothing else is missing before I move along. Um, on side of our state machine on the character, yeah, walking and jumping. Okay, cool. Let's save that and let's pull up our game and see if we refresh if he falls. Nope, we got a reference error. What do we got here? Physics data. Oh, for some reason I forgot to pass this in to here. All right, let's try that. Refresh and boom, there it is. Now Mario, if you look, boom, he starts at the top there and then he drops because now he has gravity being applied to him every single tick, which will be important. When he jumps, he needs to come back down. So we'll handle that later. But yeah, that was a quick tutorial here on how to apply gravity. Of course, he's falling through. Like we said, we haven't um, had uh, ha we're not handling collision detection or anything like that. Um, I think we'll do that in the next in this next episode. We're going to create these walls here, the barriers. Actually, it's this one, this one, and the pipe, and then also the ground here. And then the episode after that will actually handle collision detection. So if he hits this bottom um, floor actually stand and stay right there so yeah i will see you guys in the next episode later